you have just turned into Guardian Angels Brockton Community Talk, April 6, 2009. What we're going to talk about today, I read another article in the Enterprise that's disturbing. It says, more mass murders possible if the economy doesn't improve, according to a criminologist who quotes, and I quote, wherever you have an economic downturn, uh, there's a direct correlation with an increase in violent crimes. Now, he says, that why should it be different than, than with a mass murderer than any other kind of crimes? And he's consulted on several murder cases. This kind of thing is starting to go on all over the country, and it's up to us as citizens to do something about it. But what can we do? We, are we powerless? Can we do absolutely nothing about it except watch the news as our, our fellow citizens continue to kill each other, kill their families, kill their children, and go to jail and completely come unglued? There are a couple of things we can do. First of all, you need to be aware of the people around you. Watch what they're doing. Are they starting to get depressed? Are there problems going on? Have they lost their job? Are they talking about doing crazy things, has their behavior in general changed? And that's what you got to look at is the behavior. What are they doing? How are they acting? Once you get a handle on that, you might be able to do something to put the, the cork in the powder keg. Because otherwise, I can tell you right now, as somebody who works in human services and somebody who's worked in mental health, people don't share their feelings, they bottle them all up inside and all of a sudden, kaboom, you go nuclear. And this is what's going on with some of these guys, killing their families, killing their neighbors. It's gone on in communities all across, especially across the Northeast. And guess what, guys and gals, it can happen right here in Brockton, too, and that's what we want to prevent. How can we prevent it? You see somebody starting to get depressed? You see somebody using drugs or alcohol where they otherwise wouldn't do that? There are resources in the community. You can sit down and talk with somebody and have a cup of coffee. You can be a support to that person. You can say, look, I'm concerned with what's going on with you. I don't think you're heading in the right direction. I suggest you see a counselor. If it's drugs or alcohol, there's resources out there. If it happens to be a problem with heroin or opiates, Oxycontin or whatever, there's a clinic right behind the bat station you can get help at. If you have to detox from other kinds of drugs, you can go to High Point. You can go to Brockton Detox. You can go online at the uh, state of Massachusetts website and find other resources as well. The bottom line is being there for each other. We need to come together as a community and as families and as friends and make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen here in Brockton. So my message to you today is keep an eye on your friends, keep an eye on your families, don't neglect them. Remember who you are as a citizen. You're not, you're not just a bystander. You're somebody who can take action. You're somebody who can pick up the phone and say, yo, this guy is about to blow. Can you come down here and take a look? Don't be afraid to pick up the phone. Sometimes it involves a thing that we call a Section 35, where somebody is involuntarily hospitalized for substance abuse. Sometimes it involves what we call a Section 12, meaning that they're involuntarily committed at least briefly for an evaluation psychiatrically because let's face it people who blow their tops and kill a bunch of people don't just do that in a vacuum it's usually a buildup of pressure inside all kinds of emotions that they don't know how to deal with and then all of a sudden kaboom you find out that they take a shotgun or a nine or an uzi and they're killing their neighbors they're killing their families ultimately they're killing themselves or being shot by police we don't need to, we don't need this in brockton we've seen it elsewhere we know that we have an economic problem here in Brockton, but we are not helpless to help our friends through this crisis. We are not helpless. We can, we can point people in the right direction. We can suggest they get counseling. But most importantly, don't just stand by and do absolutely nothing. Because you stand by and do absolutely nothing, then you become part of the problem and not part of the solution. And also, when you're patrolling the streets, like we do in the Guardian Angels, we keep an eye out for people who might do things like this. You can join us, you can patrol with us. Somebody who's going to go out and commit a violent crime, they're much less likely to do it if they see a bunch of guys in uh, red berets and jackets coming along. Join the Guardian Angels, help us out. We also have some other ideas. We want to start youth programs here in the city. 
If you're interested in doing that sort of thing, visit our website, www.brocktonguardianangels.com. Let's keep this kind of violence out of our community by taking care of it at Jump Street, where we talk to our friends, where we talk to our families, where we act as a support system, and we actually show a little love and concern for others. This has been Brockton Guardian Angels Community Talk, April 6, 2009. Stay tuned for further broadcast, and remember, you got to keep it safe. <laughs>